Hello everyone. I am Shalya Yadav, pursuing my B.Tech in Civil Engineering from the University of Lucknow. Today I am going to present a seminar on topic sonication. Here is a table of content contains introduction, working, parts of sonicator, principles, other uses of sonication, type of sonication, which is of two types, direct sonication and indirect sonication, case study one and two, advantages, disadvantages, conclusion, and difference. Introduction. The process in which sound waves are used for agitating the particle in the solution is termed as sonication. Just like other wastewater treatment applied to the water, this is also used which tends to remove dissolved gases, reduces bacterial detection time and sludge volume. Moving towards working. The sonication process uses ultrasonic sound waves. During the process, there is production of thousands of microscopic vacuum bubbles in the solution due to the applied pressure. The foam bubbles collapse into the solution during the process of cavitation. The collapsing of bubbles takes place in the cavitation field leading to generation of enormous energy as there is production of wave which result in disruption of molecular interaction between the molecules of the water. As there is a reduction in molecular interaction, the particles start to separate and allow the mixing process to take place. There is release of energy from the sound wave that result in fraction in the solution. Ice cubes are used during and after the sonication process to prevent the sample from heating up. Parts of sonication The equipment used for sonication is known as sonicator, generator, transducer and probes are sonicator. The generator is used for transforming the input electrical power into an electrical signal that derives transducer. Transducer is used for converting electrical signal into vibration. This vibration is used in prop tip by amplifying it into longitudinal vibration causing a cavity in the sample. Prop the ultrasound energy is creation of cavitation which causes the disruption of the sample and make it easy to break down the particle into smaller ones. Let's see what is the principle used behind sonication. In ultrasonication process, cavitation leads to disruption, homogenation disintegration, emulsion, extraction, and sonochemical effect of liquid. High power ultrasound is introduced to liquid which create regions of high pressure known, known as compression and low pressure known as rare fraction. The creation of these regions is dependent on rate of frequency at which the ultrasound is applied. When low pressure is applied to the liquid, high intensity ultrasonic waves are produced, creating a small vacuum bubble in the liquid. As the bubble reach their saturation level, they collapse and this happens in the high pressure cycle. This process is termed as cavitation. During cavitation, the bubble in the liquid can jet up to 280 meter per second velocity. The figure explain how the sound wave propagate in the liquid resulting in formation of bubble and their collapse. Here is some other uses of sonication. 
The sonication mechanism is used in ultrasonic cleaning which include cleaning of particles that adhere to the surfaces. It is used in laboratories for cleaning fragile objects such as spectacles and jewelry. The artificial aging of liquors and other alcoholic beverages is done by the process of sonication. Other application of sonication in food industry include dispersion of emulsigator and speeding the filtration process. Different parts of soil are also studied with the help of sonication. Types of sonication There are two types of sonication direct sonication and indirect sonication. The first one is direct sonication. There is few difference, basic difference between direct sonication and indirect sonication. Like the prop is directly inserted into the sample in direct sonication and this is the most common method of sonication. In this method, the energy is transmitted from the prop to the sample directly. This is a high intensity process and the processing of the sample takes place very quickly. Indirect sonication method In this method, the contact between the probe and sample is eliminated. This method is also known as high intensity ultrasonic path. The ultrasonic energy is transmitted from the horn to the different tubes of the sample through the water. This method is preferred when the volume of sample is low as it reduces the foaming and loss of the sample. Now let's see how the sonication treatment is applied over the water waste water sample. Sludge samples were collected from the water reclamation plant. The primary sludge consisting predominantly of readily settleable solid of raw wastewater was collected from the primary clarifier. The secondary sludge was obtained from the sampling point after the activated sludge treatment and thickening. Sonication was conducted with ultrasound reactor equ equipped with a probe transducer all through the sample. Sonication time is one of the most important part of the sonication process. The extent of sludge disruption due to sonication time can be quantified in terms of particle size reduction. Cavitation bubble were generated continuously from the prop transducer once the power was turned on. As soon as the transducer was turned off, bubble generation ceased and the liquid agitation stopped immediately. Particle disruption was apparently related to the exposure time and the ultrasonic feed drastic particle size reduction takes place. Here is the case study 1. Department of Sanitary and Environment Engineering, Technical University, Hamburg, Harburg, Germany experimented this process in laboratory and got this result. that ultrasonic sludge disintegration is the most effective at low ultrasound frequencies. Hydromechanical shear forces produced by ultrasonic cavitation are predominantly responsible for sludge disintegration. Ultrasonic pretreatment enhances the subsequent anaerobic digestion resulting in better degradation of volatile solid. Case study 2, Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering, University of Toronto, Italy, have researched about the topic sonication and aims to in investigate the effect of sonication 
at 20 kilohertz frequency on vibrating of microorganism present in raw water and activated sludge taken from municipal wastewater treatment plant as well as pure strains of E. sacharia coli and E. facilisis whose results showed that cells of E. coli were highly sensitive to sonication and on the contrary E. facilisis were more resistant than E. coli even if the high level of E's were applied. Bacteria in raw water exhibited a dynamic of viable and dead bacteria similar to E. coli. In activated sludge sample, low level of E's produced a prevalent disaggregation of blocks releasing single cell in bulk liquid, while disruption of bacteria was induced only by very high level of E's. So there is advantages of sonication. Sonication reduces bacterial detection time up to 10,000 times when compared to periprosthetic tissue culture. Microorganisms are dislodged from the implant but not killed by low intensity sonication allowing for high sensitivity. It promotes microbial growth by inducing microcurrent in sonication fluid reducing the time required to detect microbial growth. It is proven that a high intensity focus sound wave kills bacteria. Okay, now disadvantages of sonication. Sonication probe must be in contact with the sample. The probe design is critical. It is difficult to reproduce sonication result and the micro steaming effect is restricted to the area surrounding the probe and it is a costly process. High cost is also the disadvantage of this process. Conclusion The role of sonication time, sonication density, type of sludge and solid content in ultrasonic ultrasound sonication was examined. It can be concluded from the experimental result and theoretical consideration that the most superior effect of ultrasound disruption were associated with the secondary sludge at higher sonication density. Ultrasonic has been considered an environmentally and economically sound pretreatment. High power ultrasound at low frequency could generate intensive cavitation which result in vigorous and effective sludge disruption leading to substantial release of intracellular material into a bulk liquid. The disruption of sludge particle derived from the sonication treatment would enhance subsequent acidogenesis acetogenesis and methanogenesis reaction which would in turn lead to improvement in methane generation and reduction of sludge volume. Here is some references which helps me in collecting the data for my presentation. Thank you.